Hey, what is up guys? Keenan here. We're doing a little physique update today. So if you guys have been following me for a while, you know my body fat percentage a few weeks back was like uh, 15%, uh, maybe even maybe even up to 16, 17% when I started trying to get in better shape. And that was about two months ago. That was about eight weeks ago. So I've been grinding to get in better shape. And as you can see right now, my abs are showing a lot more than normal. Um, I'm down to about 183 pounds in the morning, between 182 and 183. Uh, as soon as I get up in the morning, um, I was probably more like 187, 188 um, about six weeks ago. So I have lost about five, maybe six pounds. But I know that I've gained a little bit of muscle in that time. I've probably gained one or two pounds of muscle, maybe even three, because I was taking so much time off the, from the gym. My body is not even used to lifting right now. So I'm still getting used to lifting, getting back into it. So I've probably gained at least three pounds of muscle, two or three pounds. And then I've lost probably nine pounds of fat because my body fat is quite low. I'm, I mean, I'm still around, I'm probably 12, 13, I think, somewhere in that range. Um, if I was at 10, you could probably see the lines down here in the, on my uh, lower abs. And you cannot see those lines yet. I still have, I still have some fat there to lose. So we're getting closer guys, but we just have a little ways to go. So my goal is to get below 10%. And then one step at a time, I'll drop to nine. I'll drop to eight, see how I feel. Then I might even drop down to six because I wanna see what I look like when I'm really shredded. I've never been super shredded. Um, I'd say the lowest I've ever been is probably 11%. I don't think I've even ever hit 10% because right now I'm getting close to as lean as I've ever been, which is pretty crazy because I've always been in fitness and I've always been an athlete. I love working out, but I've never dieted to the point where I would actually lose enough fat to get below 10%. I've always, I've always been into the lifting portion of it and gaining strength but I would never, like what I'm doing now, I would never eat broccoli and carrots for dinner. And that's what I've actually been doing lately is like, um, I'll just fill up on vegetables for one of my meals throughout the day. And that's, that's saving me like a thousand calories right there. Cause normally my dinner is probably 1200, maybe even 1500 calories. So if I'm eating broccoli and carrots with a little bit of ranch dressing, I might have 400 calories. That's saving me almost a thousand calories just in one meal. So then the rest of the day, I can kind of keep normal. I can eat what I normally eat, but I am dropping my portions now as well on all my meals. So it's making it a lot easier to get in pretty good shape. And I haven't even been doing any cardio. I've only been lifting weights and changing my diet a little bit, lowering my portions, and then substituting one meal a day to something way lower in calories that I can still get full on. So like if I wouldn't get full off the broccoli and carrots with ranch dressing, I might eat like some other snack, like maybe a banana, something else pretty low in calories that just helps me uh, feel full the rest of the way and then like uh, with my other meals just lowering my portions like um, if I eat a peanut butter sandwich normally I put like a ton of peanut butter like this thick so one simple thing I'll do is I'll just put less peanut butter I know that that's gonna save me 200 calories probably just right there in peanut butter because I use so much on my normal sandwich. And then I've also been drinking uh, seltzer waters. 
You can get those from Kroger or Walmart. Uh, zero calories, zero sweeteners, no artificial sweeteners. All it is is carbonated water and natural flavors. So that's been another great way to help me cut out calories because normally I would drink like a Dr. Pepper or a Mountain Dew. So these seltzer waters help me drink a carbonated beverage that still tastes pretty good. It's nowhere near sweet, obviously, but it still helps me keep my calories down. And then another thing I've been doing is every morning I usually drink a Bang energy drink. So you all know that zero calories and they've got a lot of caffeine, 300 milligrams of caffeine. So that's usually what I'll do to get my energy going in the morning is I'll drink that, but it does have artificial sweeteners and stuff in there. So it's probably not the best thing to drink. I wouldn't recommend doing that as much as I do because I do it like every day. But today I decided to cut out the bang and just take a caffeine pill which is 200 milligrams of caffeine, nothing else in it. And then I'm drinking my seltzer water still, so I'm still getting the zero calories, but this time I'm getting no artificial sweeteners or anything like that. And then I'm still getting my caffeine to get my energy going. I took some ginseng pills. Uh, I'm currently taking some creatine. Uh, I've been taking L-lysine for tissue health. Uh, I've been taking a just a cheap testosterone booster from Walmart. If it's really working, I don't know, but been taking that. Um, I take arginine pills, um, especially before I work out, I'll take like two, I'll take between two and five, but I've been taking arginine pills a lot because it helps with blood flow helps get the blood flowing through your muscles and it also helps with the vascularity a little bit. Um, you can kind of see I don't really have much vascularity right now because it's morning, I haven't gotten a pump or anything. Um, I'm not cold, but I'm definitely not like warmed up. So this is just my, I guess, cold morning physique. So stay tuned guys. I'm going to be getting shredded um, another week or two and we'll probably start to be able to see the bottom line of my abs. You'll better see like my full six pack. I'd say in another week or two, once I get my body fat down to 11 to 10%. And then from there, that's when we will start getting shredded. We'll start seeing the striations in the shoulders. We'll start seeing uh, the veins popping out like at all times. I won't have to get like a pump for my veins to pop out. Start seeing some more veins through my shoulders and through my chest probably. So I'm excited guys. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you in the next one.